what causes prostate cancer? Unfortunately, the answer to this is, at this stage, we really don't know all the answers. We do know that in patients diagnosed at a young age, that a lot of this cancer is due to genetic causes. What do I mean by genetic causes? Well, if you have a strong family history, it often tends to run in families in the identical way. For example, if your father developed prostate cancer at 55, you might have an increased risk of developing prostate cancer also at a young age. So what is the increased risk? If you have one first degree relative, such as a brother or, or a father, it doubles your risk. If you have two first degree relatives, it five times is your risk. We also need to realise that breast cancer and prostate cancer are quite tightly linked. And in families with a lot of breast cancer, there's often, at the same time, many men with prostate cancer. So, if you've got a father, a brother with prostate cancer, or a lot of breast cancer in the family, you need to start thinking whether you might be at increased risk of developing prostate cancer. Can we do any genetic testing? Well, at this stage, there are very few genes known. There are one or two, called BRCA, B-R-A-C-A, -A, one and two, and ELAC, but they're fairly rare, but if you do have them, it's useful to know about it. So if you do have a very strong family history, it's even worth seeing a genetic counsellor for information about this. Prostate cancer affects one in every six men in Australia in their lifetime. Two to three percent of all men will die of prostate cancer and clearly it's a major health issue. Indeed, it's the most common cancer in men.